Hey everyone, this is Sean Smith here with the Smith Law Firm. I wanted to jump on here real quick to piggyback off my discussion in my last video about uh, some of the things we can do that we fail to do uh, to plan for our kids in case something happens to us as parents. Uh, the biggest thing is we don't name, uh, most times we don't name a guardian, that is a person to take care of my kids or your kids if something should happen to you or your spouse or the other parent. This could be devastating for the children. For one, a person that you don't that you don't particularly care for could end up taking care of your kids. Could be an aunt that you don't identify with. Could be a sibling that maybe you lost touch with and, and you don't agree with some of their values. Um, it could even be a stranger um, that ends up taking care of your kids if you don't properly plan. Not only will someone be raising your kids that you have no say in, they will have to petition the court and go through a guardianship trial to determine who's the best person to do that. Uh, and God forbid a stranger applies to be guardian of your minor kids, uh, spends all the money you may have put away to take care of your kids in case something were to happen to you and um, your spouse and what have you. Or worst case scenario, um, it's determined that the children will go to uh, maybe foster care, maybe um, the care of the local or state child protective services and become a ward of the state. There's just so many uh, unknowns if you don't properly uh, prepare uh, for your children should something happen to you if you die. Now, let's talk about some options you have. One, you can create a will and within that will, you can... Uh, put an instrument that's going to name a guardian in case some, uh, in case you should die while they're minors and your spouse should die while they're minors. Um, and you can name a conservator, someone to manage their affairs for the benefit of your minor kids. That can be done in your will. Also, it lets the, the courts know your intent with regard to who you want to care for your children. But what that does not do is that doesn't name someone to care for your children should something happen to you while you're still alive. Well, you say, Sean, what does that mean? If I'm still alive, I'll take care of my kids, right? Not necessarily. If you were to become incompetent or incapacitated to the extent that you can't care for your children or make a decision about who to care for your children and you have nothing in place, maybe you're divorced and there's another parent involved and you never wanted your child or children to go to the other parent for whatever reason. Um, you can let the courts uh, know what your intent was and why you did or didn't want that to happen. You can also name um, a potential uh, guardian or conservator um, should you become incompetent or incapacitated prior to. But if you don't do any of this, you still fall subject to uh, a person raising your kids that you don't agree with or you don't want to raise them, uh, a stranger raising them them becoming wards of the state and what have you. It only takes a little bit of planning to prevent any of these scenarios from happening. I, I tell people all the time, just take the time up front to do the proper planning and you'll save yourself and more importantly, your children, a lot of headache and heartache down the road. Again, this is Sean Smith with the Smith Law Firm. Uh, if you have any questions, leave us a comment down there. Um, and we will get back with you as soon as we can. Again, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.